All right, adventure friends, I promised you a review of the Jackery Explorer 240 solar generator system. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out today. I didn't choose the best day, as you can see. It's overcast and actually had a rainstorm not too long ago. But we're going to do the best we can with what we're given here. Once again, this is the Jackery 240. This is the generator portion. And then this is your solar panel. It is the Solar Sega 60 for 60 watt. It has a cord that comes with it. And it simply plugs in over here. And that's how you get your solar input. As you can tell, we're putting in five watts at the moment. We are at 81% uh, capacity. You can also charge it with 12 volt, like if you're in your vehicle, or you can charge it with AC 110 if you're in your home. As you can tell, it has one AC output, a 12 volt output, and two USBs. What I've done is I've taken the most commonly used items I use it for. So I have a fan for when I'm sleeping at night, and that's the uh, highest output I use. Then I have a camera battery, a tablet, and a GMRS radio. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug each one in and see what they draw. So as you can tell, currently we're putting in 5 watts on the cloudy overcast day. So first we will go with the camera battery. So to do that, we'll turn on the AC section. As you can tell, that green light came on. And we're going to plug it in. So we are putting in five watts at top and at the bottom we're taking out five watts. So five watts of input, five watts of discharge, and that five watts is the camera battery. All right, next we will try the GMRS radio. Okay, that is plugged in. It is still on. That is also outputting five watts. All right, up to eight watts now. You can tell it is charging, the red light is on. Inputting five watts, outputting eight watts. And obviously, as you can probably figure it out by now, you can charge and discharge at the same time. So you can charge it, say as we're doing now with the solar panel or the other methods, and also use it output at the same time. All right, now we're gonna try the tablet. We'll use it on the USB port. So we'll turn on the USB. Plug it in. And it is now discharging 5 watts. So the camera battery and the USB used 5 watts. I believe the uh, GMRS was eight watts. Now we'll plug in the power hungry hog, the fan. So we'll turn back on the AC. We will plug in the fan. If I can do it with one hand, there we go. And we will turn the fan on. Okay, so it's discharging 26 watts, so the fan requires 26 watts, up to 29 now. And say so that is the largest discharge that I have is the fan, but even running it for seven to eight hours a night, it'll only use 20% of the battery's capacity. So I, it's worth it to me when you go out west, some of those hot climates, you definitely, or at least I definitely need a fan. So that makes it worth doing. Uh, you can also run mixers and blenders, lamps, lights, other various items out of these. Uh, I don't, it wouldn't be enough power to run a cooler or anything like that. But for me, it is still worth having. Uh, currently, the Jackery Explorer 240 solar system, solar power system, so that's the generator and the solar panel, the 60 watt, are running 379. 
you can get those on jackery.com where they also have an Amazon store. You can go down to a 160, but I would not recommend it. Uh, I think the 240 is the way to go at the very least, if anything, go higher. Uh, if there's definitely more than two people, I would go higher. They also make a 300. The 300 runs $5.99 right now. Um, so, I mean, that's quite a bit of price jump, but it does come with two AC ports as opposed to just one. And then you can go up to the a 1,000 and a 1,500. And I think there's a 500 also. But if you're camping and out in the back country or the badlands somewhere and you need some power, the Jackery 240 is a good system to go with. I know there's some other brands out there. I don't have any experience with them. What I do have experience with is the Jackery and I highly recommend it. Uh, I'll take it out for two weeks at a time. And even if you just stop for lunch at a restaurant or if you're picnicking somewhere or eating out in the back country, just throw the solar panel up on top of your vehicle. Uh, keep your generator inside, keep it out of direct sunlight and you can charge it. I've even put the solar panel in the window as I was driving down the road the, uh, on the dash and the front windshield. It's not the perfect solution, but it does work. So once again, the Jackery 240, a good system. I highly recommend it. Every once in a blue moon, they do have a sale a couple times a year, so look out for those. And adventure friends, live righteous.